I'm John Denham. I was the MP for Southampton Itchen for 23 years. I was a cabinet minister in the new Labour government and I held some junior positions as well. The cabinet posts were innovation, universities and skills and communities and local government. I also spent a number of years chairing the Home Affairs Select Committee. After I stepped down from Parliament, I helped to set up the Southern Policy Centre. The Southern Policy Centre is a regional think tank and policy forum. We aim to fill the gap in discussion, public discussion of regional policy on things like regional economic economics, uh, youth issues, poverty, ageing, local government devolution and many other issues within central southern England, the area between the Isle of Wight and Oxfordshire, Dorset and West Sussex. On the PPS strategy board I tried to bring some of my public policy experience as a minister, as a member of parliament, before that as a local councillor to bear on how the university projects itself and increases its influence. And I hope that by bringing in an outside perspective, I, I work at the university, but I really have a perspective from the outside world, I can help the university refine the impact it wants from public policy. When I was active in, in frontline politics, I became very interested in the interaction between national identity and the way people behave politically. This began when I was given responsibility for the government's response to the riots in Northern England in 2001, which was mainly about British identity, but I went on from there to understand that English identity had an increasing importance. In fact, it's people who emphasise their English identity who have reshaped the politics of this country over the past 20 years. So the Centre for English Identity in politics here at Southampton University provides a forum for research, for seminars, to explore this very important interaction that has too often been neglected. I run occasional policy workshops for public policy and the aim in these is to work with researchers to help them understand how they can design and promote their research in a way that influences public policy. So we start with a, a very basic question. If your research did influence the real world, what difference would it make? Because if you as a researcher don't know what your research means for public policy, nobody else out there is going to come and work it out for you. And then you can go beyond that to say, well, who is it exactly that we're trying to influence? Who can take the key decision that could make a difference with my research? Because ultimately, you're going to need to reach them. The third thing to say was, once you begin to think about those decision makers, does my research cover all of the issues that they're worried about? I may be very clear about what needs to be done, but they might be worried about money. They might be worried about the political response from the public. They might be uh, worried about the knock-on effects of a policy change. So have those been researched? And then finally, it's a way of developing a strategy you, where you can say, well, what other academics do I need to link up with? Do I need to work with, for example, non-government organisations who have good access to decision makers? So it's quite a simple process, but, but hopefully the workshops give people an idea of how to think about doing research, how to design it and how to promote it in the most effective way. One of the things I try to stress when I'm talking to academics about influencing public policy is the importance of them trying to understand how the decision maker they're trying to reach actually sees the world. What's on their agenda? What are the problems as they see them? If they're civil servants, what pressures are coming on them from the media, for example? The, the great danger is that academics want everybody else to be interested in their research, rather than saying, how do I make my research interesting to somebody with real world problems to face. And if you can do that, you'd be much, much more effective, firstly in designing the research in the most effective way to answer the right questions, and secondly, conveying that research to the policymakers. The second thing that I, I try to get across is, is that very few decision makers are going to read anybody's academic papers. So if you want to be listened to, you need to be willing to network, to work with NGOs, to work with all of the people who can interface with public policy makers. Uh, being isolated, being away from the decision makers doesn't work. And then the third point is just to understand that public policy is rarely in influenced directly by even the best academic paper. It's the willingness to some extent to, to get your hands dirty, to sit down with policy makers 
understand their issues and give them practical advice, not just the ability to show them a very highly regarded paper. Thank you.